everything sports related. Breaking news, fantasy advice, score updates, weekly thoughts, and more. This is the Sports Juice Network. What's going on, Sports Juice Network? What's going on, Juice Tribe? Back at it again with another video. Like I said, I was going to be doing uh, today's video topic. It's all about the, the Ball Brothers. <laughs> the Ball Brothers, yeah. Uh, we got uh, Lonzo Ball, we got Leangelo Ball, and we got LaMelo Ball. Lonzo Ball, guard for the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. Leangelo Ball was going to be a guard for the Detroit Pistons. Then you got LaMelo Ball, who just got drafted number three overall by the Charlotte Hornets, okay? Let's hop into this. The real reason why I'm making this video is because we got to talk about what's going on with the Ball Brothers, okay? Leangelo Ball uh, picked up a contract a few weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, with the Detroit Pistons. And when that happened, the internet went wild because LeVar Ball's theory finally came true. All Ball Brothers were going to be in the NBA at some point, and it happened. It officially happened like he said he's spoken into existence, which if you don't know what that means, that means when you say something over and over and you truly believe it's going to happen, and boom, there it is, it happened. Leangelo Ball, I was excited for the dude. I really was, I was excited for him because man, I watched the uh, Ball in the Family on Facebook and you could tell, man, he just looking, like he's not jealous of his brothers at all. Like he truly loves his brothers and he's truly grateful and humble for his brothers, but you can tell in the back of his mind, he's just like, man, I need to be, like I should be in the NBA. Like why am I not in the NBA? I'm doing everything right, right? Well. Let's give a little backstory on Mr. 22-year-old uh, Leangelo Ball. If you don't remember correctly, he was in Chino Hills. That team went undefeated. Um, that whole star lineup has been officially been in the NBA. He got the uh, scholarship to UCLA where Alonzo Ball went and went number two overall to the Los Angeles Lakers. But when he got there, he was he was pretty much doing good. Uh, before school started, he, he was doing good. He was playing ball. He was looking good. And the thing about Leangelo Ball is he's not the biggest. He's a little thick. But he's, he's about 6'6", 230 probably, but the boy can shoot. Like, I mean, he's probably the best shooter out of all the ball brothers to me, in my opinion. I think LaMelo Ball is the best basketball player out of all three, but I think Leangelo is the best shooter. Well, he goes over to UCLA. UCLA goes over to China and has a tournament in China. He gets to China, and I don't know what they were doing, but three, or him and two of his other teammates decided they wanted to steal a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses. He probably said, why would he do that? His brother's in the NBA, dad has money, they live in this big old mansion. What is he doing stealing Louis Vuitton glasses when he can easily afford that? Like, that's nothing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was some type of freshman uh, hazing, initiation, and getting to the program or whatever. But the thing you don't do is you don't go steal in China. Stealing in China is different than stealing in America. In America, I'm not saying it's a good thing to do, but it's kind of like a slap on the wrist. China, mm -mm. We talking jail time, okay? And then fast forward, President Trump had to go over there talk to the China president, blah, blah, blah. He come back home. Next thing you know, uh, UCLA suspends him for a whole year and definitely he couldn't uh, participate in any athletic programs, blah, blah, blah. So LeVar Ball gets mad, pulls him out of college, brings him overseas to Lithuania. He plays on the basketball team in Lithuania with uh, LaMelo Ball, which LaMelo Ball was 16 at the time he pulled him out of high school. Why? I have no idea, but it all worked out in his favor because he was number three overall pick. That's not the point. The point is, I believe LeVar reacted off emotion and he messed Jello's career up. Yeah, he was suspended from UCLA. Okay, good. Why put him out of college and go make him sign a professional contract to where he can't go back to college and play? That was dumb. In my opinion, what you should have did was either you should have set that year out or you should have unrolled him from the school and made him transfer to another school. There are a lot of schools in California, LaVar. LaVar, I don't know what else to tell you about that, okay? You messed that up for him, but that's okay. Here we are now. Um, before the uh, coronavirus pandemic happened, he actually secured a G League contract with the OKC uh, Thunder's uh, G League. He, he secured the contract. He never got a chance to play because that's when the NBA shut everything down because of coronavirus, you know. Um, the coronavirus thing was happening and I mean, there, there was nothing else he could do. So <clears throat> he's had a couple ankle surgeries. Um, had a couple ankle surgeries, did that rehab. He been he has been working out with Lonzo Ball in New Orleans. He worked out with Lamelo Ball when Lamelo was in Detroit. That's why a lot of people thought that's why the Detroit Pistons picked him up because one of the scouts were out there watching when he was working with Lamelo in Detroit. Who knows? Um, he went back overseas. He played overseas. Then he uh, played in his uh, dad's JBL league, the Junior Basketball League. Won the championship there with Lamelo. And then fast forward to 2020. Now we're here in this predicament of they just released the guy. Now you're probably wondering, why would the Detroit Pistons release him before he even get, like, before he even get on the court and you can see what he does? Okay, so the reason is, Eric, there's been a lot of reports and a lot of speculation that 
Leandro Ball actually had an ankle injury. Like I said, he's had multiple ankle surgeries in the past. I'm not sure if that played a big factor into why he didn't play in that game versus the Knicks, but there were two preseason games where he got absolutely no playing time. And just like the NBA, they don't really release uh, injury reports, so you're sitting here wondering like what really happened. My best get, my best bet is the ankle injury kept him out, and they probably realized, oh man, this guy's had ankle surgeries in the past. Let's not give him a contract because he might not be durable during the long run. I don't know. Was it a big mistake by the Detroit Pistons? I don't know. I can tell you who wasn't thrilled about it. Levar Ball. He was. Oh no, he was angry. LeVar Ball goes and says to, I'm not sure who he did the interview. Oh, Bleacher Report, uh, AMA, he said, uh, I definitely have thoughts on that. The people in Detroit are great. I love the fans, but the franchise over there is raggedy as heck. They don't know a good player. I was giving them a lottery pick for free. He has the skill to play and the notoriety to bring everybody in the game. How do you throw that out the window? I, I, I don't know, man. Could have been because you talk. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, long story short, I, he's going to get another chance. Le Leangelo's going to get another chance. He's a great kid. Like I said, everybody makes mistakes in their life. Everybody makes some type of mistake in their life, whether it cost them back then or it costs them now, okay? Everybody has made some form of mistake. So his was stealing, kicked out of college, and now he had to go play overseas, blah, blah, blah. My best guess is that he is probably going to go ahead and go back to the G League. I'm not sure if Detroit's going to bring them to their G League or he's going to play in the D League. I have no idea, but I don't think he's going to be in the NBA this year. I'm not going to never say never. I would never doubt anybody, but I believe he might go back down to the G League. All in all, to say, I think he got cut because either he wasn't in shape and he wasn't ready to go or it was just that ankle and they were really skeptical on that ankle just like Steph Curry was when he came out of college and he, his first three years in the NBA he started having ankle injuries and ankle surgeries but then you fast forward later now he's making over 300 million dollars in the NBA because he's the best point guard in the league you know what I'm saying so you never know what could happen all I know is I think the Ball Brothers are all going to eventually be in the NBA it's going to happen it's going to they're a talented family, man. And LeVar's whole plan, you know, he has this master plan, is to get all three Ball brothers on the same team. He wants them all to go to Charlotte because he said when all three of them play together, it's unstoppable, which it could be. I mean, dang near went undefeated in their high school career, so I don't know what else to tell you. But I just thought I should come and inform you on why I thought LaMelo, or sorry, not LaMelo, LeAngelo Ball got cut. Um, he'll probably be back in the league soon. But um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. This has just been another quick episode of the Sports Shoes Network where we sit, we talk about sports we have a great time go pick up your merch i know it's christmas holidays go get your merch i want to see people rocking the sports shoes merch okay i ain't got nothing on today because like i said it's cold i gotta get some winter gear but without further ado thank you for tuning in i will catch you guys next episode Yo!